I'm gonna play on your server. No. I wanna play on your server. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that any VPN you have is shut off. If you don't have your VPN shut off, it will not run on your server. And your server will not show up in the community tab. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up control panel. You can select category here. Go to view network status and tasks. Change adapter settings. And you're gonna look for your ethernet or your Wi-Fi if you're using it. You're gonna to wanna to look for your adapter. Usually it'll be the only one without an X. So we're going to right click on this. And we're gonna to wanna to go down to internet protocol version four, IPv4. We're going to make sure it's checked. We're going to select it and hit properties. Now we're going to use the following IP address. Select that. And also use the following DNS server addresses here. Now to get that, we're going to go back in here and hit CMD. We're going to open up your command prompt. And now that your command prompt is open, you're going to type IP config forward slash all and hit enter. And this will show up. Scroll down to where you see your Ethernet adapter or it could say Wi-Fi adapter, whatever adapter you selected in your Ethernet properties. And we're gonna want your IPv4 address, your subnet mask, and your default gateway. So we're gonna take your IPv4 address and type that in here and we're going to take your subnet mask and put it in here usually once you click on this box after you have your IPv4 it automatically loads it in and then we're going to click on default gateway and add your default gateway in here now once you have that information you're going to go down here to use the following DNS server addresses and you're going to put 8888 in the top bar and the alternate DNS address is going to be 8 eight four four and we're gonna hit OK and exit out of this now we're gonna wanna keep up your command prompt here now you could either copy your default gateway and put it in your browser here or by default you could use 192.168.0.1 and paste that and go into your address now this is your router address. Now you can log in here, and by default, it's usually admin as a username and password as password, unless you changed it. And if you can't find it, it's usually on the back of your router box. And then hit sign in. Now on this tab here, you're gonna wanna go to basic or advanced in most cases. Look at the side panel and look for forwarding or port forwarding and select that. Now you're gonna wanna select create IPv4 and in this box you're gonna wanna type your IP address here in this box now local start port would be 2302 local end port would be 2305 and external start port would be the same 2302 and 2305 for your end port and your protocol TCP UDP you're gonna want both. Description, just put Daisy server, and you're gonna to wanna to enable that. And once this information's filled out, hit apply. And now once you've port forwarded your server, we're gonna to wanna to do one more thing here, because most typically your firewall is still not allowing your server to be port forwarded. So go down here in the bottom and type in Windows Defender, we're going to want to select this here. And now we're going to want to go to inbound rules and outbound rules. We'll start at inbound rules. We'll go to new rule here. We're going to want to go to port and hit next. And the first one, we're going to want to do both of these, create a new rule for both of these. So the first one we're going to go to is TCP. And specified ports, we're going to want to type our ports here. 
and hit next. Allow the connection. All these need to be checked. And we're going to name it DZ TCP. And we're going to hit finish. And it's going to create a new rule, a new port here. And we're going to hit another one. We're going to do the same exact thing. Port. This time we're going to select UDP. The ports, we're going to do the same thing. 2302, 2305. We're going to want to hit next. Allow the connection. All these are selected. And we're going to want to type DZ UDP here and hit finish. And it's going to create new rules for both of these. And now we're going to want to select outbound rules and we're going to do the exact same thing. Port TCP specified port 2302 2305 next allow the connection next domains DZ TCP finish now we're going to want to create a new rule again port next UDP 2302-2305 next allow the connection all these are selected DZ UDP and finish and now we just ported through your firewall and you can exit out of that and once you've done that make sure you reset your router so that way it refreshes the new ports and you have them now we're going to want to go to your server files to open up your server here so we can go to your area where you have your server saved usually in your disk program 86 steam steam apps common daisy server and we're going to want to run your bat file and we can check out what we named our server here it's itchy's renegade rejects so we're going to open up steam here go to daisy and hit run daisy client now if we go to change server go to the community tab and type in itchy here and hit apply filter we can join here itchy's renegade rejects or we could actually join through the DZSA launcher by typing in itchy and it shows up here we can hit play from here and if you have mods they'll show up down here and if you want your friends to join and for some reason it gives you a PBO error just have your friends join through the DayZ launcher through Steam itself have them load the mods individually and hit play Go ahead and show you that this is my server and it works. Enter the password here since it's password protected. Here we are in my server. If you hit tab, you can tell it's mine because all I have is rope, a gag, and a zucchini. More helpful links for port forwarding help is in the description below. And if none of this works, which is in very rare cases, it's extremely likely that your internet service provider has a block on port forwarding so give them a call and tell them to enable port forwarding for you and repeat these steps you don't have to worry about your server showing up on LAN it doesn't mean anything it means your local area network and you don't have to worry about that all you worry about for your friends joining is community here thanks for watching like the video if you want more stay tuned and subscribe